So, first of all, just, just talk about fall camp your senior year. Does it feel different being your last one here? Yeah, it's different. Uh, it's, I mean, the only difference is I'm just trying to do more, lead more, you know, finish things harder, just and then lead lead guys lead guys to where you want them to be. Does that come naturally to you? Uh, I'm a I would say not vocally, but right. I'm a lead by example guy, and uh, I think if I do the right things, people will get behind me and follow me. So yeah, I think it's part of what I do. Yeah. Uh, I know that last year you made the transition from the right side to the left side. What was the biggest challenge in that, or the biggest difference you might have noticed? Yeah, the only difference is just getting in your stance. Yeah. It's the same thing. I went, cause I've gone from right to left, right, or from left to right to left to left. So. Right, right, right. So, yeah. Um, I know you guys have a little bit of a position battle going on on the right side. What have you thought of those guys so far, and uh, what's it going to take to win that thing? Yeah, we got young guys that are working hard out here, trying to get in the mix, and uh, it's fun to see those guys compete. And uh, you know, whatever Coach Jeremy decides, that's what's best for us. Ralston has, has played so many different spots. Uh, I think he's doing playing on the offensive line. He's doing great. He's a, he's a freak athlete, and he uh, like like you said, he's played like five positions and just. He knows football well, and he's a quick learner, so he's doing well so far. Do you feel like, it seems like he's put on a lot of size. Do you feel like he's physically ready to handle the rigors of yeah. playing up front? I mean, the dude's 305, one of the stronger guys on the team. I mean, he's built right now to be a uh, right tackle, so. You mentioned his athleticism. How much, I think that you guys kind of get underrated in terms of the athleticism aspect of the game. How much does having great athleticism help you when you are playing a tackle spot? It's great. You got to be able to move, especially in a fast offense like ours, you know. You gotta be able to say, you gotta be able to run block, you gotta be able to run downfield, chase guys, you know. You can't just be a slow, sloppy guy out here, so. You guys were, last year, at times, so tremendous on offense, and then other times, so inconsistent. How do you find a middle ground there? You know, you, you gotta, you can't make the same mistake two days in a row. You gotta, you know, whatever you did wrong yesterday, you gotta, your coaches are gonna let you know what you gotta do better to, uh, today, and you gotta work on it. You gotta have it in the back of your mind all the time what you're gonna work on today and improve on. Does the way last year ended, is that, is that a motivating factor for you guys? Absolutely. Won't happen again. So Mike, first just talk about uh, this, this fall camp. I know you have a spring under your belt playing offensive line, but uh, what, what are some of your main goals here for yourself this fall camp? Uh, just every day trying to take the coaching and uh, just kind of improve on the day before uh, and you know develop good, strong habits that will help me during the season. What uh, You played so many spots here at Montana, so what's that been like for you? What's the transition like to offensive line for you? Uh, it, it's been rewarding in a sense. Um, I've kind of gotten to see a lot of sides of the game that maybe kids who have played just one position throughout their career uh, necessarily haven't, but um, it's made me grow as a football player. I think you know my teammates have been a big help and helped me get through some of those hard times switching positions, but in the long run, I think it's been a really good thing for me. Does tackle, I mean, you have played some tight end and some D-line, so is the transition to tackle maybe, does, does that experience make it a little easier? Uh, a little bit, yeah, with, with some of the run blocking uh, techniques and uh, just the, the concepts of how the O-line works together. I think playing tight end has given me, um, you know, an elementary grasp of how that works going into playing tackle. What's the most challenging part about playing up front? Um, just all the communication and working together. I think O-line is one of the, the few units on the field where it takes all five guys to get the job done. It's not like you're just individually uh, doing your task. You know, you're working together with your other players to make sure the play runs smooth. Seems like you've put on the weight you needed to. What was that process like for you? Um, just eating a ton every meal. Um, you know, once you get full, it's like you just got to keep eating. And uh, instead of eating around three meals a day, it was more like four or five full meals a day with lots of snacks in between. So it was tough, but also at first kind of enjoyable because you can just kind of let loose and get the weight on. But um, you know, as it as it went on, it's kind of become sort of a task to just eat that much all the time and uh, keep the weight on. And last question for you: What do you think that this offensive line can become not only through this camp but just uh, throughout the scope of this season I think we can turn into something special I think uh, you know all of us are really good friends off the field which I think really helps um, helps our cohesiveness and helps how we work together and I think uh, if we can keep that rolling keep keep improving every day we're gonna be in good shape
So Thane, talk about this fall camp in general. Does, does it feel different than, than your first one now that you have one under your belt? Yeah, it definitely does. Uh, each and every day we're just coming out here and trying to compete and this fall camp definitely getting a lot more reps than last one. So it's just a matter of building up experience each and every day and this, this fall camp is definitely a special one in terms of that. What was redshirting like? Was it hard for you to, to sit out? Uh, it definitely was, but at the same time it was also great getting to watch the older guys go out there and compete each and every day. Um, stood behind Jackson Phoebus uh, for a lot of the season and he's a great tackle so it was awesome getting to learn under him and see what he was doing. He, to me he seems like an under Underrated guy. What sort of things did you learn from him? Because he was a really good player. You know, he, yeah, he, he's extremely underrated. Um, he had good aggression and he was very fundamentally sound. So it was really cool watching him. He was just he would go out there every play and give it his all, and that was that was great to watch. What are you weighing right now? Uh, 296. Clocking in there, trying to my weight fluctuates a lot, so it's like 295 or 300. So kind of keep it consistently in the upper. Is that where you want to be? Oh right, yeah, right absolutely. around there. Absolutely. Um, talk, talk to me about this position battle you got going on here. What's it like? <laughs> Battling with the guy who's a senior uh, as kind of an upstart guy. You know, we don't really think about it like that. We just come out here each and every day and try to get better. You know, we push each other. We all like to help each other learn. You know, you have the guards talking to tackles, centers talking to tackles, guards talking to centers. Everyone's just trying to make everyone better. So it's coming out here every day and just competing and having fun with it. What do you think it's going to take to, to maybe push for a starting spot here as a redshirt freshman? Um, you know, you just gotta gotta be the guy. You gotta come out here and bring the lunch pail every day. Be fundamentally sound and, and do your job. The seniors in this group, I know they've been through a lot during their time here. Yeah. What do you think that they, what have you learned from them and what do you think they bring to the group? Uh, they, the big thing I've learned from them is perseverance. Like, no matter what happens, you know, you just got to keep your head down and grind, keep your nose to the grindstone. That's the big thing. And they're all great guys. We're all really good friends. What do you think could be the identity of, the, of this offensive line here this year? Uh, Dola. That's our identity. <laughs> yeah, as always. Yeah. <laughs> as always. Yep. How much of that stems from just Coach Germer and just the stuff he instills in you guys? Oh, it's everything. Coach Germer is a super hard-nosed guy. You know, he's going he's gonna to be nice to you and he's going to have fun with you and everything, but it's time to work, it's time to work. So you gotta got to come out here and give it your all. Watching last year on the sidelines, what was that like for you watching the, the the rise and then sort of watching it all unravel like it did? You know, just even just being on the sidelines, it hurt because like we're all a team. No matter if you're a red shirt in the stands, you're on the sideline dressing, you know, we're all a team. So it, it was great during the ups and it hurt during the lows, and we're right there with it, everyone. Thank you very much, my friend. First of all, Coach Coach Stitt has said throughout the offseason that he thinks that offensive line is probably the most improved group on the team. Do you agree with that assessment? I think we've made some huge strides. It's uh, uh, My speech will never change. We're, uh, there's no finish line. We'll always keep working to, to, to strive to get better. I think there's been some signs of uh, great improvement and you know every day there's a, a list of things to improve on so we're going to keep, uh, keep our head down and keep working for that. What do you think is maybe the spot that you guys have improved on the most? Uh, the spot. Or, or just the, I get the thing as a group you guys have improved on the most? I think uh, we're getting off the ball a lot better. I think our first step, just to getting off on the right step and heading on the right direction and uh, pin our ears back and see a little more uh, uh, action, you know, immediately off the snap. I think that's uh, obviously a huge part of it and I think we've made huge strides in that area. Much has been made of the offensive transition between the last coaching staff and this coaching staff. What's the biggest difference you notice between what you guys have to do uh, going from maybe a pro style offense to now this style you guys have been playing these last three years? Just, uh, I think it, a lot of it stays the same. It's just the tempo which we, we got go, which we have to move. Um, you know, just constantly have to keep your feet going. I mean, there's no time to, to uh, ever let the weight get to your heels. You gotta be running all the time and, and stay active. And I think the guys are, are, are doing that better and better each day. Uh, David Reese, preseason All Big Sky, uh, deservedly so. What does it? I mean, how much does that cater to what you guys want to do? How much does that help you having a veteran guy at left tackle? That's uh, uh, it's awesome to have him back out there, not just his abilities, but his leadership abilities. Um, and it's good to kind of feel like he got that side kind of nailed down, and and uh, he's going to do his job, and and that gives uh, all the guys on his right side, you know, more and more confidence. And and I, I definitely have seen that, you know, in the first couple of days of practice. Probably one of the uh, more interesting position battles of camp is going to be at that right tackle spot. You got a couple young guys, but then also a, a guy who's transitioning to his first year of the offensive line. How do you, th how do you think of Mike has done so far? Mike's done really well. It is. It's a unique, uh, 
a unique spot because that is we have a lot of young good players that are uh, are working really hard and fighting to get their, themselves into the into the mix and and Ross is a guy that's uh, you know a tremendous talent that's been around for a long time a lot of uh, experience but new to the position so it's uh, uh, the good news is we got a lot of guys that I think uh, can battle for that spot and uh, and, and Ross is doing a good job of uh, trying to keep them away from him. What can you say about a guy like that who has played four positions here and now he is kind of making a sacrifice to play off well, the, the, the benefit he has is he's played D line, he's played mm -hmm. tight end. So, you know, to play tight end, you have to kind of know what the guy, you know, when you're attached, what that tackle's assignment is when you're playing next to him. And then also, you know, from his time at, you know, playing on defense, he kind of knows what, uh, what, what's in their mind, so when he's blocking the defense alignment, he kind of has a pretty good idea what they're trying to get accomplished, so that gives him a, you know, a little bit of experience to back to reflect on. And uh, last thing for you, what's your guys' main objective just as a group uh, for this camp here? Just keep getting better. I mean, every day the, 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 the objective never changes. We got we to be better than we were yesterday, and, and then uh, we're going to dig, dig hard to find things for today that we need to improve on for tomorrow.